what is the experience like seeing your personal story being created for a film? It's uh, it's surreal, really. It's, uh, it's it's a bit weird sometimes when I think about it. But uh, in the big picture wise, I feel very blessed and, and lucky to be able to to tell uh, part of my life to a very wide audience. So yeah, blessed. What was that experience like connecting with filmmakers and sharing the different moments of your life? Um, what's the conversation like that for? Because I suppose when you're just in it, you don't think about the moments that could be highlighted in a story such as this. You know, in, um, in my life in motorsports, um, you know, you have to move on from things quite quickly. You understand what has happened, how you can learn from it, and you box it off and move on. And you subconsciously, you always revert back to it sometimes. So there's been many things that have happened, uh, but I've never really delved really into details while I've been racing up until I've been approached by screenwriters and producers wanting to know everything. So having to go back through my memory and kind of re things that I haven't thought about in detail for years, is uh, it's, it's tough. It's... Um, but also, you, I remember things which I more kind of, not professional accolades, but more personal things um, that had happened during the time, which I probably wouldn't have thought about again because I'm very much driven forward, striving forward all the time. So there's been some great points, but also there's been some points where it's, well, it's quite difficult to do. Um, it's not being, uh, not being smooth, but uh, the end results, I love the end results. Amazing. So in this film, you also perform some of the stunt driving. So what is the difference for you between when you're training and you're getting ready for an actual race and then this process of sort of tailoring your driving for a film or for a certain look? So all the equipment we have, it's, uh, it's all real. It's all the same equipment, whether race suits, helmets, the car is the racing car all the procedures you do. Um, in a race, of course, there's more, way more pressure, like by 100%, it's just way more pressure. Because I know in the movie, okay, we, we may be struggling with light and sunlight, but we can go again maybe tomorrow. So uh, the pressure is, is different pressure. Um, it's more remembering, okay, where do I need to be? And if I need to be always visible to the camera, because I'm the main car, I'm the halo car. So if the camera can't see me, I, if I can't see the camera, the camera can't see me and I'm not on film. And I have to be on film because I'm the main driver, made the focus. So it's, uh, it was a cool experience. I learned a lot from the guys. They were all massively experienced, all the stunt team. Uh, I loved it. It's something which I'm very much interested in doing in the future. Um, after racing um, but yeah it's very different in terms of the preparation though because it's the mindset is different um, you have to be more aware more thinking in, in the movie you have to kind of visualize how is how is this going to look whereas in racing it's okay flat out full attack maximum maximum uh, push so very different so what is something that is an industry standard for you as far as racing that the average person, someone like me, wouldn't be aware of, but would be shocked to find out? Why? Well, I would say it's, it's you, being a racing driver, is, it's not just being quick on a stopwatch. Um, you have to be able to talk to people. You have to be charismatic. You have to be interesting. You've got to be able to, people got to be able to like you within your team. Um, you've got to you've got to play the game politically. It's very important in sport. Something which I'm learning about. There's way more that goes on. That's just you know positioning, and then you have your fitness. You have your of course your diet, um, the time spent away from friends and family, the sacrifices you have to take, which are all in my world worth it. You don't. There's things which I I've my 20s I've never done before but all my friends have which I'm fine that's that's just part of the game there's a lot of sacrifices you have to take but for me racing is my purpose and I'm completely all in and no matter what takes it's uh, it's it's worth it for me but when I tell people this it's like ooh I don't want to give up that or I don't want to do this or I won't do I won't do drinking I want to see girls it's like 
I'm like, you have to. If you want to be great at anything, you have to do it.